looks like there's going to be some really interesting kills and stuff like this because she's going to kill somebody with a it, what it looks like a skate. Oh, the skate the, uh, throws a, a grenade down a guy's mouth and uh, and blows somebody up. That's pretty that's cool. She, so the, they're the, actually acknowledging that you know, 120 pound woman can't go up against a, you know, 250 pound dude. Ooh, Norman so, Reedus. Norman Reedus. Whoa. Yes. Sign Norman me up. Reedus is in this man. Uh... Hello and welcome to the brothers random show. My name is Travis. I'm Michael. And we are two ordinary brothers discussing extraordinary ideas and some random shit. Michael, why are we here? Today, we're going over the ballerina trailer from the world of John Wick, uh, from the John Wick world. And we're not even sure if that's really going to be in the title, but if the trailer hit and we are going to react to the trailer. You and I are both big fans of John Wick, the series, and this is kind of a offshoot. You know, another film within the same universe of yeah. J- John Wick. But hopefully um, it'll it'll be, you know, true to the source and not be a bait and switch and ruin the thing that we already love, um, like Star Wars has done and things like that. So anyway, we're going to go through the, the trailer bit by bit. Yeah. And um, just for copyright purposes, we're going to have to stop it. Here we go. Go ahead and start. Do you like your dogs? I know a school where they teach dances. I could take you there if you'd like. Now, this guy is the kind of a little bit like the mentor of John Wick. Yes. And we saw John Wick and him throughout. Played by the Uh, great Ian McShane. Ian McShane uh, was famous, mostly famous for uh, Deadwood. He played... uh, Schweringen in Deadwood and uh he he was a menacing character. He's more of a benevolent character in these in these movies. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. it's interesting seeing him here. To stop the assassin. You must become the assassin. You will always be weaker. You will always be smaller. You want to win? Improvise. Adapt. so it looks kind of like there's a school for assassins Mm. probably so they're going to expand this universe is what it's looking like to me yeah and they're going to go to maybe where john wick actually was schooled i love this line in here because she says something along the lines of you're you're not strong enough you have to be more cunning so that they're actually acknowledging that you know, 120 pound woman can't go up against a, you know, 250 pound dude. So that that's been like a bugaboo of a lot of actioneering films that some, some people get worked up about. I've never really been worked up about it. It, d- it does it stretch, you know, crudility. Yeah, it does. Right. But, Right. But it's never bugged me enough to not enjoy because I I enjoy movies kind of like this, like Atomic Blonde with uh, Charlize Theron. Yeah, that one was complete fun. I mean, just just a bunch of action. So, I mean, you and I we're always talking about action movies. This 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 is going to be fun. I think uh, it is kind of fun to see her beating on a a, a dude kicking them in the balls and stuff like that. But once again, hopefully they they'll be able to do enough to help us suspend our, yeah. our disbelief from uh, watching a, like you said, a hundred pound girl beat the shit out of a bunch of dudes. Um, I think that is totally doable with a uh, gun and knife play because mm-hmm especially gunplay because well guns are the great equalizers yeah they're the great and equalizers that i mean women nowadays should be training with guns every single woman out there should be it's, it it makes you as dangerous yeah. as the 
guy on the street. Right. So if not more dangerous, uh, go ahead and start it. Welcome to the continental. There's Lance Riddick. Uh, Lance Riddick died a few, uh, what was it? Two years ago. Mm -hmm. Um, when the last, uh, right before, like days before the last John wick, John wick four came out mm -hmm. and he, he's, uh, not the, he's like the third lead of these films. Cause he has a, a bunch of lines, uh, yeah. in, the, in the original one. Uh, he's kind of the manager of the continental, um, hotel in hotel, this universe. Yeah. And yeah. he's. The fact that they got him in this one, it makes me wonder if they shot most of his stuff before he passed, or they're using some kind of CGI. Uh, yeah, maybe he's got a son or a brother that looks a little bit like him. Um, they filled in. Something, something tells me this is just an appearance. He's not going to be a, a a heavy role in this. Um, yeah, if that, or maybe he shot several of these scenes before because we they kind of have been talking about this movie for a while so it's hard to tell and i don't have any information as to that uh it would be uh, fun to find out before this movie comes out i mean rest in peace um yeah yeah lance riddick lance like riddick. it was really unfortunate to yeah what to a great actor. about that like character yeah. actor he was in yeah. tons of stuff you would always recognize him he's got a very distinct voice Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. so all that kind of stuff was just, uh, just a sad thing. Eve Macaro of the Ruscaroma. What a pleasure to see you again. You have no idea what you just walked into. Ooh, Norman Ooh, Reedus. Norman Reedus. Whoa. Yes. Sign Norman me up. Reedus is in this, man. Uh, I'm... I'm wow, excited. Sign me up. I'm excited. <laughs> uh, his character, like if people don't know, he's from uh, The Walking Dead. His character is one of the best characters in that Walking Dead. And, and, I mean, Boondock Saints. Saints was probably his kind of, I don't know if, I don't know if he did, if he had anything before he, Boondock no, Saints. No, not anything of any note. So prob he's, probably kind of his debut. Well, and he's really um, young in that. I mean, yeah. we, re we, about a year ago, we, we did a review of uh, boondock saints. Uh, you guys can check that out. It's episode uh, 41. Uh, and Norman Reedus is super young in that. And he's become kind of the hot thing now because he, his character is one of the, the fan favorite characters from the walking dead. He's uh, and he's, He's he's done several movies, but he hasn't reached the heights of the walking dead. So to see him in this, is just a lot of fun. I think mm -hmm. I think that that uh whatever role he plays in this is going to be maybe some kind of mentor or friend or something like that. What's the line that he says? He says you don't know what you just walked into. Yeah. You have no idea what Yeah, you have no idea what you just walked into. Looks like she's going to be doing a lot of jujitsu in this. Yeah, it does actually. And this is Anna Diarmas, uh, she she's kind of famous. Uh, just recently splashed. Uh, she played uh, Marilyn Monroe in the Netflix movie uh, Blondie, in which I never saw because I heard it was brutal. Uh, she was in the last James Bond movie, um, and she just did something with um, with uh, Chris Evans. Uh, just came out, and I I didn't see it. Ghosted ghosted i mean yeah. she looks cute cute yeah. in it like well she's done a lot of work just not a lot of stuff that i think we've seen i she's uh she probably most famous for knives out the first knives out movie where she plays the nurse uh do you want to continue yeah so that shot right there uh with the the pink in the background the pink lights in the background yeah. That's very reminiscent of the stuff it was in the original um John Wick, where he's walking mm. into the club and there's yeah. these uh, psychedelic uh, blue lights behind him, and yeah. like her, she's got a, like a pink tinge to the this entire uh, uh, portion of this. Well, and also she her gunplay right here is reminiscent of John oh, Wick. Yeah, yeah. Continue. They killed my father.
faith isn't done until they're dead. Fate is a very humbling thing. Looks like there's going to be some really interesting kills and stuff like this because she's going to kill somebody with a it, what it looks like a the skate. Oh, the skate. The, yep. the, the yep. skate. So, uh, I mean, we're we're extending on the pencil here, you know, kills somebody with a skate. Yeah. Uh, throws a, a grenade down a guy's mouth and uh, and blows somebody up. That's pretty cool. She the, takes the door and then uh, the door protects her from the explosion. From the explosion. Yeah. So we got we got some fun. We got some fun stuff. And now some... she's facing down a. Uh, a flamethrower and uh i don't know the the next part is a little i don't know it's a little questionable questionable Uh, like kind of like keanu reeves fire now i've got water and let us yeah let us yeah (laughs) so we'll get it (laughs) yeah let's go there You are him. The one they call the Baba Yaga. This is a little bit on the nose, guys. Like they had to show of us. Of course they're gonna show him. Like, that, why that wouldn't they show John Wick most... didn't really die? I mean, come on, you could have just tried to keep a little bit of suspense on that. <laughs> well, we don't know what the timeline in here is because because <clears throat> if, if if oh it's true. It's we true. Could, we we don't. could we they could be having her this character, the ballerina character, um, kind of weaving her in through all of the different narratives. Cause oh, we're at yeah, we're at uh four John Wick movies. Yeah. So he's been going through this for a while. And so if mm-hmm. they kind of mm-hmm. if they play their cards right and it's really interesting, they could weave her character throughout that entire narrative. Right. In the kind of in the background. That would be so interesting. So if you know kind of what's going on with John Wick, you come to this movie and there's like the there's like these really uh, great moments in the in the original four John Wick movies and then Mm. kind of weave her character through all of those moments where she's true because you see her when she's at the uh, dance studio. She yeah. does look through a curtain and you see John Wick walking, <clears throat> which looks actually like a reminiscent scene. Yes, um, it is. It from... actually is. Cause that's a scene from, I want to say one? three. It's either, it? okay. it's either second or third one yeah. where he's in a theater and he's talking to somebody, a, a Russian um, uh, head honcho, Russian yeah. mobster. Yeah. And you see a ballerina in the background. And so okay. I'm assuming that this is her and they're weaving her throughout. Okay. So yeah, this, that's, that would be an ingenious way to introduce this way to, character. way to have this. Okay. So fair point. We're seeing John wick, but we don't know where the timeline is. So we don't know if yeah. that, if they're bringing him back from the dead or yes. if this is just before this is, he, yeah. uh, you know, supposedly died. Yeah. <laughs> How do I start doing what you do? Looks like you already have. So I'm going to stop it there. This is one spot where I'm worried that they're going to go a little woke because she's asking him, how do I do what you do? And he's like, ah, you already, it's like, oh, you're asking me for help. No, 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 girl, you already got it. You're, 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 you're already boss. awesome. You're, you're already awesome. Yeah, you're already awesome. I, you don't need and to that, work I'm worried awesome. about, I'm worried about it a little bit that that's what's going on here. If, but it, Michael, if the action is awesome and she's hot, we're not going to care. We don't care. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, that's really, I mean, the thing is, is that, the problem with the woke stuff is if it's becomes the only thing that's important in the movie, then mm-hmm. the movie it, it falls apart. But if you are going to do that stuff and then still entertain us and still have a good story. Yeah. With, with awesome visuals, we don't care. 
Right. We're not right. going to care. I hear you. I hear you. The one thing I want to point out to this and my one of the best things about John Wick, the film, the first one and kind of throughout, but the first one especially is the shroud of not knowing the history of John Wick. Yes. Like everybody talks about this John Wick character mm -hmm. and we don't know shit about John Wick. Yeah. So, and it, and that kind of just lends for some mystery mm -hmm. that keeps you kind of at the edge of your seat throughout the film. Yes. Now, one thing that I'm a little bit worried about this is because we are going to see, it looks like we're going to see a, a, a growth of a character yeah with her starting kind of from the beginning of hey so let me send you to this school you're gonna learn how to be an assassin and all these things yeah. are gonna kind of happen and the the problem i have with that is because when when john wick does something totally badass and kind of completely off the wall badass and we're just like yeah it because it, he's already shrouded in this mystery. mystery it 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 allows for us to be able to accept that now because I, so i think it's going to be a little bit harder for us to just strap in with with this character because they're going to show the training and show a bunch of this stuff yeah and show the growth now well when she does something completely so you, off the wall badass we might have a hard time accepting it you're worried about them showing the mystery yes because i feel like that was such a strong integral part of john wick mm -hmm. that because the mystery is already going to be seen that the, the mm -hmm. yeah there it'll be it'll be kind of tough to it it um, will i think that'll be interesting because because you're right. One of the things that's so pleasurable about the John Wick movies is they give these nuggets throughout the series. Like, like when they're paying with coins with gold coins instead of cash money, like they don't explain it. You just see it. And mm -hmm. it's like, what? it's like, this is kind of cool. And mm -hmm. they have the high table and the mystery of the high table. And mm -hmm. so there's gonna, there's gonna be a little bit of, I guess, um, trepidation with this movie i'm excited because it looks like the action is going to be amazing but the truth is is uh <laughs> uh keanu reeves is pushing 60 and so he probably is looking to pass the torch mm, yeah yeah i mean the right to be honest and so i think if 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 this is a, a success they've got a franchise of films with her mm-hmm mm-hmm and as yeah. long as they can kind of weave him in and in and out, you know, that'll be cool. That'll be yeah. fun. It'll it'll maybe have like a little bit of the like when in the original MCU was going on with uh, the Marvel universe, uh, and you see these different characters that you recognized from the comic books, Start you know, to, kind of, you, and they started to kind of pop in yeah. here and there throughout. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Be, weave it together. You know, and, and what this does is if it show if it's starting out like uh from the past then they could bring back characters from this franchise that have died and kind of interweave them into the story too so like yeah. if that's what they do mark de who i thought in the second one just stole a dang show he was the bald guy that was like i'm a fan i'm a john wick yeah i'm a, I'm a fan and that would be so great to see him i mean yeah uh, donnie yen who's who's in um I think the fourth one, see him again, uh, yeah. you know, just kind of inter, you know, bring all these characters in. Um, that would be really interesting. I think, I think we're, we're here for it. We're excited. Tell us what you think <laughs> in the comments guys. Uh, like, does this look good? Does it look like everything else with the franchises that we love where they just like, Oh, we got to, uh, uh, bring the boss. switch. Yeah, a bait and switch, you know, bring the boss yeah. babe in and, and have her do it. Or does this actually look good? Does this actually look like, I mean, the fact that they acknowledge that 
she, she needs to kind of cheat and, and, and in her fighting, uh, mm-hmm. kind of says what we're all thinking, like that she's probably not as efficient as John Wick because she's, you know, a 110 pound woman, but you know, this, this might be fun. Uh, check us out on social media, Spotify and Apple podcast. Uh, just look for the sword in the skull. In the meantime, keep reading, keep listening, keep watching, learn more. We'll see you brother. See ya. Yeah.